kick is on one, Dane. Kick is on one. So kick is a stream platform that has kind of become a, a place for, you know, the lost toys in the world. You know, the old Christmas movie. <laughs> the island of misfit toys. That's kick. Yeah. Uh, if, if you're a troubled or, well, you know, a controversial streamer and you've been banned on Twitch or something, you can go find a home at Kick or you can move your move your people over there. You'll be able to grow and people, you know, you like-minded people will be there. So we're going to talk about Ice Poseidon and uh, Sam, Sam Beam, that's his name. So they, uh, they like a, the, the story that I heard is they got a fan, uh, put him in a hotel room and called an escort and had a camera set up. They had a camera set up? Uh-huh. No. That's all right. Filming? Yeah. Okay. That's, that's my live stream? Yeah, sure. So she walks in, uh, and he's like, hey, I'm streaming. There's the camera right there. The other guys are apparently like in the other room somewhere. Uh -uh. Uh, they sit on the couch. They sit down on the couch with each other, and, you know, they're, they're getting a little intimate, you know. He's kind of kissing on her. She makes his face. Like, she's just like, oh, God. No. <laughs> she makes like this Ugh, face. <laughs> but, I mean, she's, she's, got a, she's got her hand somewhere. And then. What's this about the guys you're messaging now? Guys are in the bedroom fine watching the live stream. So someone starts messaging her, being like, "Hey, you know, there, there's like twenty thousand people watching this. There's some guys in the other room," uh, and she she starts to get to where she's like, "Nah." Right, she's like, no, 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 no. Actually, no, I'm not okay with this. You know, at that first, I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever, cool. You, you want to film it? Sure, I don't care. But now it's like, wait a minute, hang on a second. How many people? Right. And so she goes to leave. And he says, "Wait, we paid you five hundred dollars." And like this is the part that like, this part is like the internet outrages. Like everybody's like, "Whoa, hey, no, whoa!" This is creepy. What is it? This is this is creepy. Okay. So you She's like, let me out, dude. Let me out. She screamed. So, yeah, she gets out. Uh, very creepy thing. I, yeah, I don't. <laughs> there's so many things I want to say before I start talking. This it goes the next thing where, you know, she leaves and then they're like, you know what? We should probably leave, too. So they have this like, you know, big brain play here where they they walk out the front. There's the police. They're coming to arrest them. And they're like, hey, let me just um, let me just, let me just go on over here. You know, <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh, let me solid sneak away. They won't, they won't ever know. Are you right? They're trying to GTA their way out of this. Yeah, they're actually trying. They're like trying to get oh. away, right? And they're like, eh, take a right. Let's go down this alleyway right here. Ow! What the hell is that? Sorry. And the police are like, all right. <laughs> Currently under arrest. You're under arrest, boys. Let's sit over here. So the police get him. They talk to him. They take him down to the um, station. Yeah, yeah, they take him down the station, and uh, then they're, they're released. Uh, in the end, nothing illegal happened. Yeah. That. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, right? So uh. um, you go to like the kick guidelines here, to where they're like they they prohibit activities, material including live stream videos and comments that are. You got all these uh, things right here, and then you got facilitate, encourage, offer, or solicit sexual conduct. You know, contain nudity, pornographic, depict sexual activities, actual or stimulated, and so none of that. Well, the the facilitate, encourage, offer, or, or solicit sexual conduct that did happen, and right? if she didn't leave, I would. I would say that the probably contained nudity or pornographic sexual activity or se actual or simulated would have happened also. Right. And then there would have been <laughs> live streaming that would have encouraged Ill uh, illegal conduct. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like the part at the beginning is like the, they're using like the like ice Poseidon here was like, wasn't a hidden camera. Like he said that he pointed it out right there at the beginning, right? That's like, that's like their defense. Just true. And then I mean, after someone started messaging her and she understood like the whole situation, she said, no, this is creepy. I want to leave and do like starts blocking the door. And who is the dude in the room? That's the that's the fan. From what I understand, that is just a, like a guy <laughs> that they just got like the, the wow. two content creators are in the other room. Wow. In the chat here, you have Eddie, uh, CEO of Kick, hitting hitting them kick W's oh, in, the, in the chat. No, really? This is hilarious. And uh, oh. then Kick had this comment to say about the whole situation. And just the way it starts off is just so, oh, okay. <clears throat> There's incredible untapped potential in what live streaming has to offer. The first sentence, Dane says, there is incredible untapped potential in what live streaming has to offer. <laughs> oh my God. That is their opening statement. <laughs> wow. 
We're firm believers that the greatest days of live streaming are yet to come. With that said, community and public safety cannot be compromised in the process of making content. Oh, you know, okay, oh hang on a minute. Let's, let's bring it back. <laughs> We're continuously learning where this balance sits, the sits and are making changes daily. We appreciate our community for the continuous feedback, both good and the bad, and we'll keep you updated on upcoming changes to community guidelines and subsequent enforcement measures. So uh, this is like the most not saying anything statement I've ever seen in my life. Because right. in my opinion, this is exactly what Kick wants. They want this crazy stuff to happen. They don't want to enforce any like rules of con like, you know community stuff. They they just want people to watch. Like yeah, Aiden Ross over here, Kim Jong Un. You know, I saw he's gonna he's gonna interview him. He's, he's gonna interview you know uh, North Korea's leader. And I, I remember seeing that, and I was like, who? Uh, why would anyone even believe that? And apparently, he set the record for most views lost. <laughs> In like a minute, because as soon as this, as soon as, as soon as that dude right there popped up on the screen, everybody went, okay. <laughs> but the fact that they actually thought Aiden Ross was going to interview this dude to begin with was insane. Everybody's like, he's going to start World War Three. Oh my God. It's like, wow. uh, that's kind of, that's, that's really what I want to talk about. You know, the, the, the moral standards of these people are, are already rock bottom. Like Ice Poseidon, he's always been known as a dude that's just, you know, literally sc scraping the bottom of the bucket as far as humanity goes on any kind of moral <laughs> compass. Uh, right. he's, he's been, alle allegedly he's scammed fans out of like $300,000 on a crypto scam uh, called out by CoffeeZilla. And I think his response was like, yeah, I could pay them back. I have the power to do that, but I'm not going to. Uh, <laughs> wow. He's like a RuneScape. He like started playing Rune, like, was it RuneScape? I'm pretty sure it's RuneScape. Oh, this is the dude that Luke was showing us. He said, look at this stream. And we were watching the dude go around Australia oh, yeah. in, the, in the back of a van. And the dude in the middle looked like he was coked out of his brain. Or, or out of his brain, period. Yeah, it was something. <laughs> yeah. I, he got banned on Twitch originally. I think someone swatted him on a plane. There was like a bomb threat under his name. And I think that's what led to him getting banned. But then on their stream, they have a GPS showing exactly where they are. They, they want people to come mess with them. Right. They want this kind of stuff to happen. For content. And Kick, again, in my opinion, wants this kind of thing to happen for content. They want it to be crazy spectacle because they know that people are going to talk about it. Like you can, I'm sure there's comments right now being like, Ken, you're talking about it. You're spreading awareness, giving these people more views. But then the flip side is if just nobody talks about it, and we don't spread the awareness and people can't be mad about it, then nothing changes, right? right? Because Kick, just like every other company, if enough people are like, we don't like this and their bottom line goes down, they will make changes. Absolutely. I mean, it's a business at the end of the day. They don't actually care about these streamers or people, whatever. It's all well, about it making that money. money. Yeah. yeah. And content like this definitely is making the money right now. My concern is the, the the majority of people that watch this are impressionable younger people. Like they're the only people that have few enough brain cells to actually think like any of this is it's like Jackass back in the day on MTV. Like, right. It was just, you know, a bunch of teenagers love that show. It was the best thing ever. Yeah, the, kids, the, the same vein, really. But the people that did watch it would like go and make their own videos and do all these stupid stunts and get themselves hurt and do all this stuff. And the same thing's going to happen with budding content creators. They're going to watch their, their, either they're going to see this clip that's getting a bunch of views and they're going to go do stuff like that. And they're going to go get arrested. It's already happened. The people are already getting arrested for like live streaming dumb stuff. And that's it's crazy uh, to me, dude. It's, I can't it's even insane. imagine. It's crazy. But is Kick doing anything illegal? Technically not. Not yet. <laughs> yeah. It's not yet. easy enough yet, you know? No one's no one's been murdered on stream and like their yeah. CEO's laughing in the in the comment section yet. All that untapped potential, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, we could do so much. It's it's just God, like your dude. it's like your you know, you used to have like your your prank YouTubers and you know everybody hated them, but people still watched them. Uh and the same thing it seems to be happening to like a lot of kick streamers is like if if you're you're getting banned on YouTube and you're getting banned on Twitch, at least you can go over a kick and you can uh I don't Do know. Your thing. Kick it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so what what has what all has come of that? Oh, you said they got off because nothing illegal happened? 
they're saying that they got swatted, you know, the, the cop, they got swatted by the cop. It's probably the person that was messaging the girl being like, hey, this is the actual situation that you're in. And she went, oh, that's not what I want. And then when right. the dude started blocking the door, the dude was like, ah, <laughs> uh, cops. Uh, yeah, really, you dude? Need to, you need to get down there before something crazy happens. This is, that's nuts. That's nuts <laughs> that he was like blocking the door. Yeah, I just don't know what kind of idiot you got to be to even like think that that is content like i don't know man i uh, what's the type of person you got to be to block a door from somebody well that's not the content creator that's just like the dude eh? like in well, there yeah, like what the type of person though you know what i mean like that's yeah. in there i think that's i think like good. the excuse was yeah he didn't know it was he didn't you know he didn't know how to handle it he didn't know what's going on or something but it's like whatever it doesn't change anything it was like can't like because i saw people like defending that and like some of the comments have been like well you know she was doing her job you know and then she left with the money so He's like, what's he gonna do? Like, block the door, force her to stay in there, like, right? And you, like that, that scenario doesn't go. Give me my money back, you know? It, it it just it spirals out of control from there. That's a yikes, dude. What does content creation come to these days? Whoever's at home, it ain't worth that. It ain't none of that is worth, dude. So don't do that. So a lot of it got cleaned up. Like YouTube was also like going down this path. Uh, like used to, you would have like crazy thumbnails. Like I, cause I did them, you know, like sexual, sexual charged thumbnails, nothing like showing yeah. anything, but just like, you know, bo the boobs in the thumbnail, Felix even made a song about it. Um, <laughs> YouTube, we had like the apocalypse and YouTube cracked down. Right, right, uh, right. They control the money, which controls the content because content creators are doing it ultimately to make money, no matter what they tell you. And if they make less money by making that crazy content, they make less the crazy content. So that kind of took care of itself. It's still out there, but not nowhere near as ramp as it used to be. Uh, when it comes to streaming, it's basically crowdfunded. Like people are paying tips. They're, they're subscribing. They're giving the creator money directly. Like the views per viewer is worth far more than it is on either platform because like you go on YouTube and you might have like a thousand viewers and it may like divide into like five bucks, you know? You got a thousand right. viewers on live streaming and then like half of them are giving you five bucks. And then after the the company, whether it's kick or whoever takes some percentage of it, you get what's left over. Then you get yourself employed. So you get taxed. Either way, you get a lot more money. <laughs> and so that kind of like that kind of behavior is enforced even more with your fans being like, here's money. Do that more. You know? Right. Right. And I uh, support that. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's just a cesspool of just. It's brain dead to me. But anyway, the, it'll all take care of itself eventually. So we'll just keep keep watching the the the, the trash fire until it's burnt out, I guess. <laughs> the yikes train. Yeah. All right. That's been some toasty news. Woo! Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you guys next time. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday. Toast my friends. I love you. Bye-bye.